Welcome back, my movie maniacs, to my little sliver of the internet. It is the final cut. I am Mark the Movie Man, and today we are going to raise a little mayhem. Yes, mayhem. Brought to us by Joel Lynch, giving us the story, story of Derek Cho, who works at an office building where there's some high tension, and he's just not having the greatest day. Well, things go a lot worse when the virus that has been running uh, through uh, the world uh, ends up arriving at his office building, and this virus causes people to lose their inhibitions and basically just act on their impulses without any restraint and while there is a cure it does take some time for it to take effect and so Derek Cho decides to take this opportunity with the help of his uh, Melanie Cross to exact some revenge because while they're infected there is they're not held responsible for anything they do and we see how he rises up the corporate ladder to face his boss <laughs> played by uh, Stephen Brand and all the while uh, avoiding the other chaos that's going on within the building this is a lot of fun i mean this is what i really wanted from the belco experiment while i did enjoy the belco experiment i enjoyed mayhem a hell of a lot more now steven yun who we saw in walking dead is back on screen and i always enjoyed him in that series in fact he was one of the highlights to that show and so seeing him back on screen is great and his Derek cho character is just a lot of fun to watch you feel for this guy and when the infection starts man does all chaos break out and i love the chemistry that Steven Yeun had with Samara Weaving who plays Melanie Cross as these two go up the building and uh, create some chaos as their own as well as avoiding the chaos to try to get to uh, the boss John Towers played as I mentioned by Steven Brand and I love the chemistry between these two now we've seen Samara Weaving in a number of films already over the past year and I like this actress I love the talent that I see here and she really gets into this Melanie Cross character and shows how she can wield a nail gun uh, uh, quite deadly uh, handling of that. <laughs> um, uh, there's a lot of out outrageous scenes in this film. There's some dark co comedy, as you imagine, black comedy uh, worked into here. It's just, it gets really bleak. Uh, but then there's some lighter moments as well. A great balance there. Steven Brand as a John Towers character is uh, just hilarious. This guy, he's getting, you know, seeing him with a, a golf club and threatening people or, uh, you know, he's he just doing drugs because, hey, you know, he's infected as well, so why not? They can't hold him responsible for anything and uh, he just really is getting into this role uh, the blood effects and the gore in here were fantastic and the direction of this film is spot on it moves along nicely the plot's always moving and you feel the kinetic energy in the chaos there's some use of music in here which I thought was creatively done and helped add emphasis to some of the scenes going on and yeah this is just one where you just sit back and relax and enjoy mayhem because <laughs> they, you've got people doing stuff in here that I'm sure has crossed some people's minds in the office, which is actually kind of scary thought now that you think of it. But in any case, Mayhem's worth your time, especially if you're wondering, Belko Experiment or Mayhem? I would highly recommend Mayhem. A lot of fun, great performances, and got some of the great exploitation elements uh, that I'm sure many of you out there enjoy. So uh, if you have seen Mayhem, please leave your comments down below. Love to hear your thoughts. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I appreciate your support. Until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.